god. I'm in bad shape. Okay. All this for a fucking film. Film B. Pictured in front of the Arukas tailor. Regressed into a zombie within two hours. Subject repeatedly complained about severe agitation of the epidermis and in addition to feelings of nausea. This happened up to the moment he lost consciousness. Pictured by R. Lambert. That's all the films. Now, have fade sprays. I, I I know that. The problem is, is I don't want to use them. I know I left a lot of herb around. I've used a lot of herbs already. So there is a f oh man. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hate it, but I'm going to have to do it. Is there is one that I think I neglected and I say I think. But most of my bullets are going to go in order to actually get to it. Not to mention the save state I'm going to have to make consistently, probably. Okay. But we cannot get grabbed once. If we get grabbed once, it's all over. Waddle, waddle, waddle. How much ammo did I use? Actually, surprisingly, not that bad. I have about two clips. Oh no. <laughs> well, one clip and, and a few spare. 
<laughs> I forgot about that last guy. Oh, okay. That hurt me. That genuinely hurt me. Save state there. Hang in here. Oh yeah, I missed this. Oh, <laughs> taunt me with another fade spray, why don't you? Oh my god. Love that for me. Shake my fucking head. We have three fade sprays. Again, unless we absolutely need them. And I do not think right now we absolutely need them. What I do think, however, is there should be an herb out here. To yellow. Holy crap. Well, dire straits avoided. Don't even gotta worry about them. Just head back in. Ooh, God, I'm sweating. Tense situations be like. Now, to get back to that office, which should be easy enough. Go up the ladder? Yes, I will. I probably should have took care of this liquor way before, but I didn't. <laughs> Bottle all you want. Fucking liquor. Liquor. Scary things, those things. Okay, um, well since I used all that ammo, actually I believe I want the grenade launcher with the acid rounds. Swap the rounds out. I believe, if I remember exactly what this situation is, we're gonna need it. Of course you could use regular bullets, but then... Why would you waste so much bullets? So. We've developed the film, and we got back, and we have slightly better health than when we left off. And Sherry's waiting for us. There's a note in here. Mail to the Chief. To Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the re renegade operator... Renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining star's members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact through this affair. William Birkin. To Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. I have deposited the amount of 10,000 USD to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to the member of the executive board of, for Umbrella Incorporated. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate, sorry, investigate the underground research facility. <laughs> to Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. 
There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Taint any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With the, these precautions, any possible threat should still be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. William Burke. Okay, wild. An ele elevator appears to go down. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Okay. I would equip this if I were you. Torches lit here. Wow. That's very ominous, Mr. Chief. What do you have behind your office? <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Yeah, what happened, Shut man? Up. You could possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. Yeah? How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? I don't know. So it's true. You have but been it's working okay. with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio -wave. Oh, yes. Superior to the T virus in every way. Okay. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? Sherry Birkin. In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my is yet another product of the G virus. Ultimate bio weapon. Yeah. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Um. Uh, why? I just can't take the pain. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> What in the world is that thing? Well, so much for taking me with you. Um, yeah, we can look around here a little bit. It's like a butcher's room. I really don't want to know. The acid rounds are here, kind of as a hint that you'll probably need them. Yeah, disturbing stuff, you think? Formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals. The police chief is a fucking serial killer. By the looks of it, at least. We head down here, where that maggot presumably went off to. You'll see that there's a little bit of a... I don't know what it is. Looks like a chicken leg. Well, whatever it is, it grows. And we don't like it. Ew. Ew.
Damn it. Let's load state. Ugh. So that's the thing we're worried about, I guess. Um. Monster pink thingy. We've already read through this, so we're just gonna skip through. Ugh. I probably should have save stated yeah. before that. My bad. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. You better dance. Better move. You better dance. Let's make it now. You won't remember. Oh yeah, run run. Help me! In my opinion, Irons, you are beyond it. You don't need help at all. Brace your ears. I hate those kind of noises. F1. All right, let's go talk with the chief again and have him be all eccentric and crazy. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Yeah, that's great. Calm down, chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. You couldn't? Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. Oh, yeah? How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? Your so town. it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the must. agent can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. In every way. Now, William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sharing him, isn't it? In case you haven't already the monster that's been tearing my pieces apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. The ultimate bio weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. Who are you? Uh, I just can't take the pain. No, you can't. Well, there's that again. Wow. I had to live through that psycho again. Now, how to worry about this? Ladder leads down. Let's go down again. Okay. I'm just worried about dying here. This thing literally looks like E.T. Oh, 
go up the ladder. And it gets rid of the buggies for me, so I don't gotta worry about them. But the thing is dead. Alas, you can push the button. The ladder. Go up the ladder. We should. to go back for sherry so if you didn't know which i completely it just completely left my mind we need to go back and get the child <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do let's go back for old sherry I'd hate to have have a child run through this room though. Like, uh Mucho uncomfortable about that. Especially since Mr. Irons is right there, but I guess sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in a Resident Evil world. There she is. I can't believe the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Okay. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! <laughs> wait, wait! Claire is impatient, my man. All right, Claire. Now close your eyes, please, and let me guide you through this room. Say, so close your eyes. Oh, God damn it. Climb down. Don't worry about anything, okay, Claire? Or Cherry, you're safe. We're gonna go through the underground. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Ooh, big guy. Claire? Run! Didn't even see you. Why are you running when he didn't even see you? Beyond me. He just walked away. No. Sherry, where are you? Sherry, Claire, I'm here. 
I'm here. And again, I'm Sherry with a fade spray. This is the second part. You get to play as Shetty Birkin. So let's go see what we can find out. The ladder. The exit to the ladder is blocked off. The only thing we can seem to reach is this little, um, grate. God, get off of me, roaches, please. Also, who knew that roaches were that vicious? My god. Also, Sherry just got absolutely manhandled, and it's fine. We take the wolf medal? Yeah, I probably will. And she falls. Sound right. <laughs> <laughs> 